I'm really glad I got a vasectomy. Now, don't get me wrong. I have two kids and I love them to death. They are wonderful. They are amazing. But that's it. Do I look back? Do I regret um, getting a vasectomy? Um, and do I wish I would have had a third child? And my answer is unequivocally 1000%. I do not regret it. I think it's made me be able to focus more on the children that I do have, um, focus on my wife, focus on myself. Um, and a lot of people can do that at three kids, at four kids, five, six, whatever, um, or one kid. You know, it's, it's different for no kids. It's different for everybody. That's, there's no one size fits all for me and my wife. And thank goodness, you know, we kind of, you know, our thoughts aligned on it. It was two kids. I highly, highly, highly recommend a vasectomy uh, once you are um, sure you are done with your child um, uh, rearing years. So why am I talking about a vasectomy? on a divorce channel, children change everything in a marriage or relationship. And anybody that tells you differently and says they don't change it is lying to you. They're lying to you, bold-faced lie. It changes everything. And even, you know, well, you know, when they're 18 and, you know, uh, no. You know, when they're 18, you're going to be a different person. As a divorce lawyer, I'm a Florida divorce lawyer, William S. Foley, this is uh, Foley Divorce Channel. I see lots of people that do use the, you know, um, having a baby to save the relationship, save the marriage. And I mean, maybe, yeah, sometimes maybe it works. Sometimes I'm, I'm, I can't imagine that it hasn't worked, you know, uh, untold numbers of times throughout the millennia. Um, but sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, having, especially like back to back to back, you know, we see a lot of that, like, especially in threes, you know, you got like a one year old, a two year old, a three year old. And it's like, you didn't think that was going to cause a strain on the relationship. We put a little bit of time in between our kids. We gave some space to breathe and to learn to, uh, understand the little uh, um, wonderful child that was now residing in our house um, and that helped us to be ready uh, for the next one but you're never ready I mean they're gonna be a completely different little person it's always gonna be tough it's always gonna be hard it's always gonna be challenging and it's always gonna be rewarding so again this video is about dealing with a relationship working on your relationship you know, and if you already have children, um, so this is not in any way, shape or form to say anything about people that decide that they don't want children because, um, you know, a lot of marriages and a lot of relationships, people don't have children being a little bit that we need to, you know, watch out for our own personal well-being, mental health, you know, everything, adding that in and adding another life that you're responsible for and that you have to guide through 18 years and not just 18 years. You know, it's, it goes on much, much longer than that. It's a lot of diapers. It's a lot of, a lot of diapers. Um, and is it worth it? Of course. But in the context of relationship, you have to really you know, make sure you understand what you're undertaking. If you're like, okay, let's have another child. That's not going to necessarily help it. I mean, it'll, it'll keep you busy. It'll take your mind off of whatever issues that you're having um, between <laughs> you and your spouse, because you're going to have a lot to, to worry about and deal with and be scared to death about all the time that, you know, they're going to like, oh, they're going to fall. They're going to do this. They're going to get hurt. They're going to get sick. They're going to miss. Bah, 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 bah constant being a parent is um having love for somebody else and not wanting anything to happen to them and wanting the best for them you care you care about your children and their day and their and things that are affecting or if they get hurt or you know you're just you're being a parent and that it like never stops i still like hear those phantom 
Does anybody else get that, like, phantom things, like, wake up in the middle of the night, like, from, like, and they've been, like, past the baby phase, like, forever, you know, and it's just like, oh, oh, baby's crying. No, they're, they're not babies anymore. So, in your relationship, the communication about how you parent is going to, over time, you know, expand and contract and expand and contract. It's going to, it's going to be, it's going to grow. It's going to change. It's going to morph and you gotta, you gotta be, you know, ready to move with it because, um, every new set of facts that comes in, you know, to the situation with you and your children is going to change the dynamics. So it's always, so how you parented at the beginning, you know, when they were like a tiny little baby to when you're on your second kid and now they're, you know, one's a teenager or whatever, you know, like it's going to be different. So that communication in your relationship is, you know, at times will suffer and you have to find ways to work through it. You have to find ways to, you know, look at the situation and say, you know, what's the best thing I can do for my kids? You know, this series is more about saving your relationship um, and working through some of your problems rather than going to the side of a divorce. Unfortunately, that sometimes is the direction people go, but if they're continuing to see if they can work through it, you know, there are ways that you can work on it with your spouse. And again, that, I mean, you've heard this probably enough if you've watched any other videos on my channel, therapy, going to couples counseling, working through things. I mean, that's a, that's a big one. That's a big topic to be discussing with, you know, marriage counselors is, you know, parenting and the differences in parenting styles and parenting and communication about different things. And that's not just for like divorcing people, you know, it's, it's for married people. It's for people, unmarried people that are in relationships that have a child together. It's important to learn because then you get to say, wow, wow, we did this. You know, these little people, it's because of us. <laughs> well, I guess it's because of them too. I mean, you know, we can't give all the credit to ourselves, but we worked really, really, really hard, um, you know, throughout the years and, and did everything we could to the best of our ability. And we know that there's some things that we look back, eh, okay, that could, you know, maybe we, we blew it on that or we, you know, miscalculated on that, or that's something that we could have done differently. Um, but, you know, that's part of, learning and being a parent there's not a real it's not like with the baby there's a manual it's like okay well at age three this crazy thing's gonna happen so in your relationship as well as you're learning these new things and these new things are coming up it's learning about your communication with your spouse and with your partner to make sure that you're making these decisions jointly that you're hearing each other and you're being heard and you're listening. So again, to say, well, we're just gonna have a bunch of kids and that'll like completely like, <laughs> you know, take our mind off of everything. No, I mean, it's just, it's just gonna, it's more, you know, there's more things you have to continue to work on. So yeah, I am happy I had a vasectomy because, you know, I'm happy with the decisions that we've made and the children that um, we've made yeah, made them. And that was through communication. Like, I, I don't think I'd like unilaterally go out and get a vasectomy. I mean, she dropped me off and then picked me up. <laughs> so um, she knew I was doing it um, and she was supportive of it as well. So the point of the video is that children, having more children won't always solve the problem. And then thinking that one, what will work at one point in the children's life, you know, doesn't always work, you know, 15 years down the road. So you got to keep working at it. You got to, you know, read the books, go to counseling, talk to each other, be on the same page, find ways, find time together that you can talk, you know, whenever you can carve out that time, it's just the two of you to sit down and talk and to reevaluate, <laughs> like, you know, are we doing this right? Like, you know, there are the things that we could be on the, like on the same page and a better, you know, going in a di different, 
direction? Like, are we missing the mark on something? Like, where, where are things that we can get better as parents and better communicators about our children? So, thank you for watching. If you'd like to consider subscribing, you can hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you don't want to like the video, that would be amazing. If you'd like to comment about your own um, parenting style, parenting tips, you know, advice you have for new parents or parents that are thinking about having children. And sometimes I've had people say to me, like, you're the only person that told me like how hard this is going to be. And it's just, I've, it's what I do in my career as well. I don't sugarcoat things. I tell it like it is. I tell it how I feel it. And how I feel is it is amazing. It is life changing. It will change everything, but it's hard. Like get ready. <laughs> it's going to be hard, but it's going to be worth it.